Hey everybody and welcome to another Redone Let's Play and today we are doing Mega Man 1 for the NES. And this is a pretty hard Mega Man, probably the toughest in all the series. Anyways, let's get right into it. But, on the other hand, I should do much better in this run as opposed to my low quality run which I had a GameCube controller. Yuck yuck. So, on the keyboard I should do a lot better with this game. And we'll start off with Bomb Man for our first Robot Master. I noticed that there's only six Robot Masters in this game. The future Mega Man games all start having eight, so this is the only game to not have eight. Which is fine by me, which means we can get through this game a lot faster. Which is never a problem in my eyes. And I'm sure you guys realize I was supposed to do, uh, Leg I was supposed to do Legend of Zelda Islands of Death for my next LP, but due to unfortunate circumstances, my Zelda Classic on the CD I had is corrupted by a Troge file of some kind. So I can't really use that. I need another Zelda Classic uh, Beta 182, not the 2.10 version, I need the uh, older one, the version 1.92 Beta 182. So Red Mage Adam, if you watch this, or any other Zelda Classic person, uh, if you have that version, please send it to me so that way I can get these, uh, these Zelda Classic Quest of Mine redone. I'd be ever so appreciative if you could. Anyways, back to the main game here, which is Mega Man 1, so we're gonna stop talking about Zelda Classic now, you guys know the reason, so... Oh god, these Sniper Joes are a little tricky. You gotta stop shooting so they lower their shields and you pop them again. Alright, killed him with minimal effort. Alright, for this next portion I better save because it could get a little nasty here. Quick save. Yeah, we got these exploding missile enemies and they can be a little annoying because they don't stop respawning. And because of those antenna guns, making your jumps can be a little treacherous, just like I died there. Which is kind of annoying. Ooh, thank god I didn't fall that time. Ooh, smoking these enemies now. Thank god. Ooh, doing a lot better now. Die, missiles! Stop spawning! Yeah, and if you hit them, they get a big explosion. Oh god, no. And uh, that, this is really annoying. They do not stop coming. Gah! Get back on the platform! Alright, get up here quick before that missile respawns again. Okay. I'm actually going to fall off the ladder here. I'm going to take a chance. Save. Real fast. Because I could screw this up royally. And I didn't. Yay. <laughs> okay. We took the less dangerous path and it paid off. Oh god. Now we got this little helmet enemy guy here. And oh! Why did I do that? Why did I stop my jump there? I was retarded. Oh, That was so dumb. I don't know why I stopped my jump there. Absolutely dumb. Beyond belief, though. I guess I was just trying to time my jump waiting for this helmet guy. Ooh, all right, I got past that part. Ah, oh, crap, I was trying to time my shot. Die. Yeah, this guy doesn't stop for spawning, which is a pain in the ass. Ooh, that guy had my invincibility frame there. Ooh, all right. Uh, we're at the end of Bomb Man stage, not too much more. Oh, God, another sniper, Joe. Luckily, we can dodge this guy pretty easy. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, go figure, I say that and get hit. Boy. Shoot, damn it! Come on! Alright, I took him out. Now let's go through the boss door here. We could fall straight down, but honestly, you really don't want to do that, because you'll see why in a minute. You don't want to fall down the pit and get hit by these guys. They hurt, so... Ah, what the hell, let's take a chance. Bomb Man's not really that difficult any- And okay, we dodged him nicely anyway. Whoop. Okay, I took a chance and it paid off, yay. Alright, let's finish off Bomb Man's stage. We could probably fit two more Robot Masters in. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get this game done in three parts if I can. Ah, crap. Yeah, that bomb- The radius of that bomb blast is ridiculous. You really gotta move a good distance away. Yeah, but Bomb Man still isn't that hard. Your Mega Buster hits them pretty damn hard. Hooray! Bomb Man stage complete. And I think we'll have time for two more. We could probably do Guts Man and Cut Man, and then we'll call it an LP part. Alrighty, so after we beat Bomb Man, it's off to Guts Man stage. Here we go. Let's save state once again. This Guts Man stage at the beginning can be pretty nasty. Ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. Come on, you stupid tool. I hate these tools. There we go, finally got him. 
took long enough. Ah, damn it. I'm dying. Alright, wasted him. Okay, I'm actually gonna wait till it comes back because... I don't want to fall to my death while I'm trying to save state, because that's not fun. Come on, platform, get back here. And why I say it's gonna get tricky? Well, you see those little thin black lines there? The platform takes a dip when you uh, hit that, so... And you really gotta time your jumps well here. You gotta time it just before it takes the dip. And where's that other platform, dang it? Come back! Oh, great. Oh, damn it! See, that is why. No! I'm trying to time it there. No! Come on! You, I can, I can land this jump. I know I can. There we go. Much better. Yay! We made it. Save, save, save. Oh, God. Glad I'm past that part. And that's the hardest part of Gutsman's level done. The rest of it should be a breeze. Yeah, watch out for these stupid, annoying helicopter enemies. They can be a bitch. Especially if they start swarming you. Oh, dear God. It's a nightmare. Yeah, you want to run towards these uh, hammer throwers, these mine guys. Just run towards them and start shooting. Oh, for this one, we can't really do that or we'll fall in the hole. And I don't want to do that. Alright, this next one we can do. Run towards them and shoot. Whew, okay. And we're going to save here. We're making good progress. I want to keep it that way. Alright, these little uh, those helicopter guys are back again. Now I'll get this energy, continue falling, and I think I've... Yeah, fell in the wrong spot. Figures. Okay, let's stay far left this time. <laughs> if you touch anywhere near the spikes, even though you're not really touching them, you'll still get hit. Alright, now we got... Oh god, big eye. He's gonna be on Nightmare. Ah, crap. Yeah, if you hit big eye, you lose about a third of your health, which is not good. But, we should still have enough to beat Guts, man. Hopefully. Like I said, we got the power of save state, so it doesn't matter. These Matools will fall pretty easily. And now we save before the gate to Guts, man. We're gonna switch to our bomb ability, so let's do that. The bomb ability will waste Guts, man in a, couple hit in a few hits. And every time he jumps and hits the ground, he shakes it and causes Mega Man to get stunned, which is not never a good thing. But luckily our bomb radius is, uh, broken. Ah, crap. Oh god, man, Gutsman's in a bad spot. Come on, hit him, bomb, hit him! Hit him, hit him! Oh, we wasted each other, damn it, that's not what I wanted. Ugh. Oh, why did I throw the bomb there? That was stupid. Ugh. Yeah, Gutsman can be annoying. This ground stun is really a nuisance. I can only take two more hits. Alright, at least I dodged that one. And we got him. Yay, Gutsman's history. And that's the second stage down. Hooray! Alright, I think we might have time to fit one more Robot Master in, and I guess we'll do cuts. Uh, not cuts, man. Cut man stage there. <laughs> oh, God. Me and my stuttering and all that. I hate that. Anyways, cut man stage. Let's do it. And I'll save before we fight him. Or go through a stage. Clear points. We have 8,000. 80,000. Woot. And cut man stage will be a little while, so bear with me, folks. <laughs> some more of these helicopter enemies. Just dodge them. I probably could get all the Robot Masters done in this part. I mean, I do have a 20 minute limit, so I probably could do it. Depends if I move fast enough. Nice oh, freaking helicopter enemies, go away. They home in on you and annoy the hell out of you if you don't kill them. They are an absolute bitch. Just stay under this antenna gun. And I'll shoot him. Yeah, these, these antenna guns shoot beams all over in different directions. Makes for very annoying climbing. Ugh. Die, you. Took that one out. Alright. Get away here. Don't want to... Ah, you bastard. You hit me. But I got my lost energy back. Some of it. I wonder what those little... Those energies look like little lemons. They look like little robotic lemons. I'll kill that antenna gun. Hurry up. Jump. 
Whew, so far so good. Run! Gotta dodge these little Pac-Man wannabes, now we got some blue fleas. Shoot them down. And now we got to return to these, uh, these plunger eye robots. And these things hurt like a mofo if you hit them, so watch out. Only kill them if they get in your way, otherwise just don't bother. It's not worth killing them unless you're like low on energy and you want to try to get some. Only shoot them if they're in your way, that's what I'm doing. These two are in my way, so that's why I'm killing them. And this one's probably going to be in my way to some degree. Alright, hurry up, hurry up, go, 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 go! Alright. Gotta shoot this one. This one's like right in my way. Gotta plug him. Wait for him to move. I'm not going to try and kill this one. As long as they don't get in my way, I really don't care. So. On the other hand, we gotta kill these. We gotta kill at least one of these guys. Die you! Move over here. There we go. Wait for him. Wait for that plunger bot to shoot over. Continue up. Now we got some more Pac-Man bots to avoid. And oh boy, we got more of these little mini helicopter enemies coming up. Luckily, we wiped out most of them. I'm gonna save state here because we're coming close to Cutman's uh, lair. We're not too far from it. Oh boy, we got more of these uh, helmet bots shooting beams in multiple directions. Ow! Oh, come on, hurry up, keep falling. Go, 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 go. All ass. Get my invincibility frames. Just die! Oh god, we got to return a big eye here. Save state. Ah, damn it. I hate you, big eye. I hate you. Takes off like more than a third of your health, which is ridiculous. Ugh. That's one broken robot there. Literally. Well, luckily, Cutman's pretty weak. And I got a little bit of energy back, which helps. Every little bit does help. I'm gonna get the guts power up because two blocks, the Cutman's face will kill him, so. We're gonna try to make good use of this guts ability while we have it. Come on, hurry up, get the get. Ugh. Oh crap, went completely over his head. That didn't help. You know what? We're gonna use the Mega Buster, screw it. No, not the bomb! Alright. Yeah, the Mega Buster is actually gonna do better against Cutman, honestly. You just keep shooting him back, he'll shoot the rolling cutter out. Just as it comes back, you can just jump right over it. See, look at that, Cutman's a lot easier with the Mega Buster. Whoa! Dang, thank God I had my invincibility frames, or I probably would have died too. Hooray, we took Cutman out. Boop. You know what? We got time for one more, so... We can fit one more Robot Master in. Let's do it. Then we'll do the last two in the Wily stages for the final part, which will be next, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess we'll do... a Man next. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, Lechman is the toughest Robot Master in all of Mega Man 1. Why? He will kill you in a measly three hits. Whether you touch him or his electric beam hits you, you're gonna die. His elect beam will rape your health bar badly. <laughs> uh, let's, oh god, these guys are gonna be annoying, I can tell. So we're gonna use our bomb to get rid of these guys. And it got out of our range. Here it, oh, it still hit him, yay. That's good. Damn it, jump. Stop falling, jump. Ah! Oh, come on. Yay, made it finally. Really? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna use the cutter here. I have to because I want to get rid of these guys. And I went right over them. That was great. Luckily, the cutter rank doesn't take too much health. Or weapon energy, rather. Alright, everybody, watch out for these electro beams. Jump up here. Uh, we're going to switch back to our normal weapon for right now. And we'll continue up here. Die, you. Yeah, you want to shoot these things quickly before their eye rods come out and shoot electric at you. Yeah, keep moving and don't stop moving. But at the same time, you want to shoot before they shoot you. <laughs> Just like I did there. 
And we have the debut of the Disappearing Block. Very infamous for every pretty much every Mega Man game in existence. Aw, oh, crap. Yeah, you gotta watch the jump at the right time. You don't want the block to appear on top of you as you jump. Alright, there we go. That was a very easy block puzzle. Now we gotta go across this disappearing block bridge. Now I got to that ladder easily. And the rest of Elect Man's level is gonna still be coming up. Why did you fall, you freak? Get back up. Oh yeah, yeah. That was stupid. Okay, uh, we'll save here right now. Making good progress, I wanna keep it up. I gotta say, it is so much better to have the keyboard to jump. I can time my jumps a lot better on this than I could on the GameCube controller. So I'm glad I'm kind of redoing this game on the on the computer. Ow. Oh crap, these stupid electric enemies are annoying. I hate those high rods. Evil. Okay, now we're gonna get our cutter right now. Gonna pop those uh, little sensor robots so they don't follow me around. It's gonna make the jumping more treacherous than it needs to. Come on, Mega Man, get up there. God. There we go. Now let's head up here. Uh, better get my regular gun. We have to return those killer eye rods. Oh crap. Ah! Now I'm getting electric rain down my ass. Not good. Stop bumping into the ceiling and jump, damn it. There, finally. Oy, oy, oy. Alrighty, we want that magnet beam uh, hidden behind those blocks, so get your guts ability and start having those things. Alright, we got our magnet beam. That's gonna be useful. We need that to beat the game, and you'll see why later. And it'll actually make Iceman's level less uh, annoying, too. And you'll see what I mean by that later on as well. <laughs> I gotta take out more of these sensor robots with our cutter. Don't worry, we'll have plenty of cutter to spare for Elect Man. Now I got some more Electro, uh, shocker things to watch out for. Whoa. Let me save here in case I get hit. I really can't afford to take too much more damage. I'm probably only gonna be able to survive two hits from Elect Man now. Whoa, boy. Hurry up, hurry up! Whew. Okay. Now let's continue on here. We gonna jump across. All right, doing good, yay! All right, we're nearing the end of Elect Man's layer. We're almost there. Now we got another big eye. Believe it or not. Oh god, I hate big eye. They're literally at the end of every single robot master stage in this game. God, they do so much. They do a shit ton of damage too, and that doesn't help. Ugh. Elect Man's already gonna be a bitch enough without getting hit. Now I'm only gonna take one hit. Alright, let's go. Hurry, hurry. Go, Mega Man. Go, go, go! Whew. Well, at least I can save state on Elect Man. But I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, because I'm only got a third of my health left. One hit's gonna waste me. And hopefully he doesn't fall from the ladder. Oh, yes he does. Whew. Let me save again, because I don't want to fall from the ladder. And I'm close to Elect Man's lair. And I'm probably going to screw this up hardcore. I'll probably end up getting decked by the Elect Beam, and I'll die. Hey, we took him out! Whoop. Got lucky there. <laughs> he shot the beams over my head. <laughs> so lucky me. And he kept walking into my cutter, which helped. Alrighty, folks, we're done with Mega Man for the NES Part 1, so stay tuned for Let's Play Mega Man for the NES. Uh, part 2 or maybe the final part. I'm not sure if we can get it done in the next part, but I'm probably going to say Part 2. Anyways, see you then, peoples.